I think you come in here hoping for boats because you want to be busy and you leave hoping never to see a boat again because I think your understanding of what it is to make this crossing changes completely. It wasn't really very thought out and I was supposed to be here three weeks and I've been here three months. I had time on my hands and I had skills that were needed here and so it made a lot of sense for me to go here and volunteer. When I went back to Canada, I was constantly thinking about this place. I feel like I never fully left, so it was a no-brainer, yeah. Coming straight out of education into something like this, you start to see what's really important. If anyone wants to have that feeling where you wake up every day knowing that what you're doing is the right place, then that's where you should be. I feel very fortunate that I've been able to do this kind of work that not a lot of people know about. So I think the work here that we do is special just because it's highlighting what is still going on. There is really no impact made by the country where I come from and that's why I find it so important that I am here to try and uh, do something to help in this situation. And every day is different. Um, it can be scary, it can be um, amazing, and you just really never know what's going to happen. We have to look at what is actually going on. It's families crossing, it's children crossing, and they are just trying to reach safety. The way Europe functions right now is it's not welcoming, it's not open, and it, it just doesn't understand what people are really going through. If you are a volunteer, Having worked with refugees, it'll be absolutely clear to you that no one does that journey for fun or for getting a higher wage, but they do it because they're, they're threatened on their life at home. The bottom line is that these families are not in a safe place. They do not have access to any of the human rights that they deserve. And as a European nation, we need to step up. Uh, but for now, it does not encourage us to help people. So we're really fighting a state that has neglected um, millions of people. People will always find a way to get to safety, uh, no matter how many times we try and stop them. We play such a small role in that journey of displacement and of asylum, but each of our roles is massively important. There are, there are thousands of people all over Europe, all over the Turkey and Morocco and Spain and Libya trying to help people and every single person is making an impact somewhere. It's not because I'm here that anything is changing. And because I am here, I understand that there are bigger things than me. You can't focus on yourself in this situation. You have to put that aside and you focus on the people who are risking their lives every day. Anything that makes you happy, that you're passionate about, that you want to see more for yourself, make it happen, do it. Just don't, don't listen to anyone older than you, don't listen to anyone saying no, go. Whatever drives you, you have to follow that because you as an individual, you can make an impact. You can change something even if it's just one person. I think that's just as important and it's very overwhelming, definitely. And there are so many bigger issues in the small day-to-day -day that you experience in your life. You have to engage with that. If you don't, I think you're being blind to a lot of what is out there. And I would say, I would really hope to the youth that or to everyone out there that they would find something that they're passionate about and a way to give back because that's fundamentally the only thing we can do.